You are a PA bride to be. Yes. Uh, when did you get engaged, and do you have a wedding date set? Yes. I got engaged on the very surprising but romantic day of Christmas last year. So it was December 25th of 2018. Um, it was a little bit of a surprise. It was a cute little scavenger hunt, and then he popped the question. We cried. It was it was great. Um, and you know, you're not really sure what to expect because you've never been through this process before, but. I will tell anyone who is either getting engaged or who's thinking about getting engaged, the next question that everybody asks you afterwards, when's the date? Where, where, where are you guys getting married is the one that follows that one. So we set our date for September 25th, 2020. I will be finished my clerkship. I will be finished PA school at that time prior to the big board exam. What have you been able to plan since getting engaged? Not much. <laughs> um, so I plan the venue. I, it's important, you gotta pick what's most important to you. Not everything in your wedding can be important. So for me, the venue is the most important. I wanted something outdoors and I looked at about 12 different places. It was excessive. Um, but you know, for me, I justified that by saying, well, this is probably going to be the most expensive part of the purchase, so I gotta love it, and it's the most important part to me, so I gotta love it. Um, so I spent a lot of time doing that, and subsequently, I have spent time, you know, figuring out what my game plan is really. And once I figured out that, I was able to then subdivide those into smaller tasks. You know, looking at the whole big. Um, task is daunting, as you probably know. <laughs> Absolutely. It's almost like project management. Yeah. And, um, all these subtasks, deadlines, following through. It's funny you say it like that, only because I was thinking to myself, man, can I put this on my resume? Like, we're planning events that are in the, you know, tens of thousands of dollars here. This is the first time I, I thought about it. I was like, why is this so much work? Why do I feel like this is... And then I thought, wow, this is what event planning is like. This is truly why people get paid to do this. Because it is, not only is it hard work, it, it takes some experience. So I learned my lesson, actually. I've been doing my research. So I've been watching podcasts on how to plan a wedding, how to keep your expenses managed. So I've, I've been putting that work up, up front and then finding my, finding my people, my resources. So the people that will help you, who will say, I'll be there when I, you know, you need to paint that decoration or you need to go, you know, try on dresses. So I've got a little list of people who, um, who said that they wanted to help and I can just give them a call when I need them for, you know, various tasks. Being a PA bride to be is that you're sort of amplified in everything. You know, your timing is a little bit more congested. You know, you have, you have to balance school and your placements and what you know your physicians want of you with you know going to taste that beautiful cake not the worst thing in the world to do but all of these planning and you know little things to do you know the PA program's already compressed and to you know try and fit another thing in that takes so much time out of you and something I actually want to spend time doing I, I really enjoy the idea of planning this event you know some people might not and I don't want to miss out on enjoying it just because it flew by because I was trying to do so many other things at the same time. I think that's going to be my personal biggest challenge. The other unique amplification is the finances. I think, you know, that can't go without saying modern day weddings are expensive. It's hard to get around that, you know, venues are expensive, food's expensive, flowers are expensive. Um, and when you're in a two-year program straight for 24 months, uh, you have absolutely no time to work, and there's no summers, there's no, there's, there's just no free time. And even doing massage therapy is not an option. I, I stopped. I, I stopped back in January of this year um, and left the profession uh, as an active member anyways. And I really jumped two feet into being in this program. But then I got engaged and I was like, I could do two things at once, right? Right? That makes me human. Um, any uh, tips for brides-to-be? Honestly, I think the biggest thing that I have figured out in planning this event is talking to my partner. 
just communicating and being clear because, I mean, this is one of the first big things you'll do as, you know, a married couple together is have this wonderful celebration. And my partner, as long as he says, does it make you happy? Is it within budget? Sounds great. You know, for some people, that's not enough direction. For me, that's great because I have a whole vision in my mind. The tips I would give a bride, other than communicating with your partner anyways, would be setting up your budget. That's a probably number one thing um, because it really determines what you can do and then your guest list. Like, if you know how many people you see having at your wedding, it really changes not only the venues, but your budget, that sort of thing. So you kind of have to work those things in together. Um, and just like anything else, there's kind of never a good time to get married. There's, you're always going to have things in life. So pick a time that makes you happy. Not everybody's going to come. Not everybody's going to be able to make it. You know, that's, that's the reality of party, um, like planning any event, let alone a wedding, just any party. Um, so do it when you want to, when it makes you happy. And the biggest piece of advice I've been given is, especially right on that day, let it go. You know, you've planned, you've planned everything up until that day. Everything on that day is out of your control. So just go with it. Roll with every single punch because you'll have a beautiful day no matter what.